Hello everyone! Welcome back to Roots of Pacha. Looks like we have a new idea in the works here. Nock wants to try processing food in a new way. Okay, I think this might lead to our smelly fish adventure. Acre has finished upgrading your obsidian hoe. Oh, that's exciting new tool. Good morning, little bunny. Okay, now we did get aha uh -huh. the ola has successfully watered all eight squares around it so that is pretty exciting maybe we should just top that up a little bit okay that actually did not drain that as much as i thought it was going to that's really exciting i was kind of worried that it was going to take a full eight squares <laughs> per day so you'd have to fill it every second day but it looks like it's only going down by four is what it looked like it was at 12 when we started filling that up okay today is our last day to plant carrots <laughs> oh increased knowledge we will take it okay what else is going on here oh plant I wonder if our wheat is going to be finished in time. Oh, that might be the end of <laughs> our carrots. I know we had quite a few, but we've been planting them pretty, pretty hard lately, considering that we are so close to the end of the season. There we go, more carrots yet. And then of course we need to check on our animals and investigate the smelly fish quest so we can carry on with being able to get all of our contributions to the monkey totem i'm pretty excited for it oh hello animals how are you doing i did not water fast enough <laughs> oh no water this is because we had to go check out the ola first thing whoops here we go and how are you today Oh, everyone is just doing so well, so happy. There we go. There, all of our animals, our pet. Oh, looks like we have a little cleanup in here. <laughs> and were we still needing tomatoes for a quest? I don't think we were, but I think we needed to put a couple back in here. So let's do that. And we were storing milk in this one. Uh, I think we should be good for our grains at the moment. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. All right, let's do a couple, oh, no, oh, I fibbed. Let's get our tomato in there <laughs> and then go do a couple contributions, shall we? And we're kind of waiting for the idea with the juicing. Oh, I see him. Here he comes. Experimenting in the kitchen can result in some pretty amazing new flavors. I had an idea. If fish can live in water, what if we stored the ones we caught in water too? I have a feeling it will work if I had the right container and things to mix with it. Oh, our bunny's coming up to see us any water animal and 25 wood okay we can talk about this later well let's go see what we still need and uh get right on it we want to be able to make the stinky fish <laughs> okay we have 15 wood so we need to cut down one tree and then we need to fish up three little fish oh we don't want to dance we want our axe. We'll just take care of this tree right here and that'll give us our 25 wood right off the bat there. There we go. All right, three fish. We can do this, no problem. We are like professional fishers at this point. <laughs> These ones will probably take a little bit longer than up by the mine site just because we haven't caught enough of the porcupine fish yet. But I'm pretty sure if we catch enough of those two, it ends up being two bars instead of three to fill. Okay. Fish number two. I don't like it when they go behind the rocks. It makes them take longer to catch. It's frustrating. Uh oh, don't scare it. <laughs> it's pretty well there. 
and one more. Oh, here's our lucky fish right here. Oh, don't go behind the rocks. There we go. Okay, let's go hunt them down and turn this stuff in. Now, I'm thinking our juicer should be getting pretty close to being done. I think we've, yeah, we watered a spot. Let's just go plant that down. It grows in four days, so it should be done right on the 28th. Okay, did he go in the hut already or is he visiting people? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go see if he's cooking in here. There he is. I'm glad we settled here. It makes cooking so much easier. That's great. Why don't you research our idea here? This should be everything. I just need a few days to do some research. And by research, I mean taste testing. <laughs> I don't think I want to taste test stinky fish. <laughs> Are you heading outside the land today? Take some food with you. I'll ke it'll keep your energy up. Um, I'm still researching. Okay, back in two days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is going to take way longer than I had anticipated. Okay, I think we were kind of getting low on supplies here. And I don't think we need to carry the poop around with us at all. And we finally have enough contribution points that we can upgrade our animal shed. So why don't we go and get that taken care of? Oops. So we're going to need a flint. And what else? Plant fiber. And contribution points. I think that should be everything. We'll find out pretty soon if it's not. Oh, right, our new tool. Let's grab that. Here's your new tool. I made it, so it's going to last for years. Thank you very much. And crawl, where are you? Here you are. If I'm not building or fixing something, I'm probably asleep. You know, I'm pretty sure your wife said something very similar, if not the exact same. Um, not that. Okay, so our medium animal shed will be done in two days. Let's upgrade it. I'll get everything ready to start working on this tomorrow. It should be ready in two days. Music to our ears. Carrots will be ready tomorrow. Okay, we'll put our supplies back. Why don't we go and try to tame our bison again? There we go. We'll do a little attuning here right off the bat, and then we will carry on with whatever catches our fancy. My goodness. I didn't think that getting that juicer done was going to take so long. We could always make some flour and go turn that in, I suppose, but it'd be kind of nice if we could just do it all right at the same time here. Okay, now, where are the bison? There they are. And we also need to be looking for feathers. Oh, we have started to attune with this one, so let's carry on. Oh, <laughs> a little slow on the go there. Here we go. There. Aw, you're happy. That's good. And were you the other one? Yes. Now, hopefully by the time we are fully attuned with these ones, our bigger animal shed will be complete and they can just go right inside. It's really difficult. Well, the game itself isn't hard as long as you can focus. <laughs> and it's a little distracting when you can see the other bison moving. <laughs> all right, so one more day and they will be all ready. So they'll be done a little early, but that's okay. And where are the ostriches today? Okay, so they're down over there. So I'm kind of hoping we will find a 
feather over there. <laughs> we'll see if we get lucky or not. We need two of them, so I wonder if we need to be attuning with the ostriches in order to get feathers. I suppose we could try, and it's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> oh, here's a little baby green one. Oh, there's an adult green one too. <laughs> I think the green will just liven it up a little bit. And of course we can only attune with four animals every day. So it's kind of good that we're just about done with the bison because we're going to reach our max. And we're really banking on, whoops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the thought that we're going to get uh, four new animal spots here. Okay, so you're a female. Dun, dun. And it's kind of neat because every animal, the pattern changes. <laughs> but it is definitely a neat way to go about getting animals. Okay, are you, you are a male. There we go. We got a female and a male again. Wonderful. Okay. Now, if you guys would just leave some feathers lying around, that would be fantastic. We still have a lot of energy that we need to use up, so then it'll be a question of whether or not we want to go fishing in our usual spot, or if we want to try a different place today. I know we did some ocean fishing last time, and it just, I don't know, it just wasn't we couldn't do as much with the fish. We couldn't cook with the fish we caught there and we couldn't put them on a smoker so we could only dry them, which was a bit disappointing. Now I'm really not seeing anything for feathers or anything of the sort. Why don't we go check the wheat and see if any of that is done. Okay. So we're not seeing too much. I I think we're probably just gonna go and do some fishing, get ourselves some more mining supplies is probably our best bet. And it'll be even better. I think we'll go up to the mines just in case we can catch some of the better quality fish because we have the best chance of getting better quality fish up by the mines at this point because that's where we've done the majority of our fishing. And if we can manage to snag some even better quality fish, that means our cooked dishes will be even better quality. So that would be pretty exciting too. Okay, we can donate our wonderful little sun-dried tomato there. Just gonna run around. <laughs> Everyone can wonder where we're going. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to be above the sundial here. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna miss the path again. I do like the candles in the rocks by the river. That's a pretty neat idea. Okay, and we decided that picking up the pine cones was probably not worth it because they were only worth two contribution points. So it really just depends on how quickly you want your contribution points to go. I mean, it doesn't take any energy to grab them. It's just, uh, I guess if you were out of energy and you needed to burn some time, that would be a good way to get yourself a little bit of contribution points without having to use any energy. Might as well pick up these last few seeds of the season here. We may not be able to use them for summer, but we can use them next year. Oh, the little boars are just so adorable. <laughs> oh. They grow up so fast. All right, potatoes. Okay, I'm getting very excited for this little bit of fishing. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all the mountains in the distance there and the trees. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, there's water down there. <laughs> oh, the scenery is pretty cool. Oh, looks like we got another pomegranate too. Now those I find are worth picking up just because you can dry them and eat them for extra energy. So 
I do like those. Okay, let's get some fishing done, shall we? See if we can catch ourselves some really good quality fish here. That is the dream. <laughs> if not, maybe we'll just up our experience with some of the other fish. That's always good too. Oh, this one's being a little sneaky today. Oh my. It's like, I can spot you. <laughs> there we go. Now it's kind of interesting because when I first started playing this game, I was playing on Steam and then I wanted to buy it on the Switch as well when it did e release on the Switch. And I was a little nervous about the fishing because I wasn't quite sure how smooth it was going to be on the controller <laughs> but it's really good i don't have too many issues at all in fact i'm pretty sure i probably like it better than the mouse mouse and keyboard hmm. Okay, we're getting... Oh, there we go. We got a better quality one now. Okay, that's good. We're getting the good, better quality. We don't want regular quality anymore. We're done with regular quality. Oh, goodness. This one's lively. I mean, it is a tougher fish to catch, but we've caught quite a few of these now. Oh, don't scare it. <laughs> Scaring it would be bad. <laughs> oh, that's even a better quality one. Oh, just regular quality. No. <laughs> Okay, we don't have many more fish that we're going to be able to catch before our energy runs out. Is that our last one? Or yeah, it is. All right, let's get these fish home. We got two that I think we can put on the smoker for contribution points, and the rest we will turn into meals. And then once we can really dig deep into the mines again, that's going to be pretty exciting. Especially since it seems to take so many extra hits and swings of the hammer to be able to open the doors now. Okay, let's get rid of our mushrooms here, and I think those can go as well. Get ready for our smoker here. Alright, and everything else we will just cook up nice and quick for us gonna have to explore some of the other meals too. Now I think we planted some sesame but maybe I forgot. We don't have eggplant either. Some of these things are just a little more difficult. Squash I think we can grow in summer. Three of any harvest. Now that one we could probably take care of. Oats we haven't done yet. Oh, carrot, potato, and any eggs. So once we can start collecting eggs, red meat, we would have to set traps up for. Um, oh, a vegetable and a bean. We could probably do that. Seaweed we haven't really come across yet. Okay, so we can do seven. So let's get those cooked up. Wonderful. And it's getting late. There we go. Look at all of our nice meals. Um, let's just finish cleaning up our inventory a little bit before we head off to bed here. Okay, we'll get our bones in here, and you can go into the solar dryer. Alright, let's go to bed and see what tomorrow has in store for us, shall we? Ooh, as I try to do some crafting. <laughs> Now, the hard part is, is that we are able to craft ourselves some more olas, but they are quite expensive needing all of that fur. <laughs> and that's of course going to be like the hardest thing to get. So now I'm like torn. 
and you can buy them with 500 contribution points as well so it's kind of like oh good our v did finish that's very exciting um yeah it's kind of hard to say what way you'd want to go with that <laughs> i mean definitely a handy invention but do you spend the money or do you spend the resources okay good now we just need to get all of this stuff watered. And then we'll try to be a little more mindful of our watering today now that <laughs> a lot of our crops are fully grown and leaving holes in our garden. I'm kind of curious to see if these are gonna grow or not. <laughs> they might run out of time, I'm not sure. Dun, da, da. Oh, don't do the same spot. That's not helpful. <laughs> oh, we did it again. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, animals. How are you guys doing today? Oh, yes. Your home is being expanded. I hope he is not disturbing your slumber. <laughs> all right. Let's store ourselves some of the wheat. I think we'll just store all of it just in case um dun, 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 dun. let's just keep the extra carrot it will stack uh might need some extra tomatoes too it's hard to say uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> i'm just like what are we going to need to cook with and how much of everything should we be keeping oh here we go let's turn this into flour There we go. First requirement done. <laughs> now, if only we could get on with the juicing and all of that other good stuff. Said to be a musical fruit, that's pretty funny. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. We have to go do our attuning today. I'm just gonna grab a couple more of our free tomatoes here. So why don't we go attune with our animals? And then we have to decide what we're going to do. Hello, little bunny. Oh, <laughs> it's like, I'm sleeping. Don't disturb me. <laughs> I just like how the village constantly grows and expands as we play. I think that is pretty neat. And it's neat that we also get to... Wow, look at these big footprints. <laughs> Okay, let's check our map and see where our animal friends are today. Okay, straight in front of us pretty well. <laughs> okay, animal number one. Oh, there's so many little babies wandering around. It's so cute, so distracting. <laughs> All right, we would love to, but there's no more space. Don't worry, we are expanding. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow should be the lucky day. And it's gonna be a little sad because once summer starts, we're gonna lose a little bit of our extended stamina. Oh look, the other bison just came over to us. <laughs> That's pretty adorable. Whoops. Don't worry, you'll come live with us tomorrow. <laughs> and now for our wonderful little ostrich friends. Maybe they'll have left us a feather today. What else do we have? They want to make it easier to do laundry. Oh, we have to go over there. Gotcha. We will take care of that on the way back. The ostriches seem to like hanging out by the water, so <laughs> let's just follow the little area here. I wonder if we're actually going to have to make traps or not. I think we can purchase meat if we talk to 
grob, so that might be the route we end up taking. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, the right one. <laughs> Always gotta make sure. Aww. <laughs> it's just so neat how many different types of animals we can get. And there's quite a few. We haven't come across all of them yet. Oh, need some horns too. Okay, I think it was this one. Yes. I think they're getting very excited to come and live with us. <laughs> They're so happy to see us. They're like, yes, can you take me home yet? <laughs> there we go. And one more day. So tomorrow they'll be ready to come home with us. All right, let's go check and see what the laundry situation is, shall we? And then what do we do? Do we go and grab more mining supplies? <laughs> it kind of seems like to be, it seems like it's a bit of a standstill at the moment. <gasps> is that a feather? Oh, our first feather. And it really was nowhere near the ostriches. So that's interesting. I was kind of thinking that they would be located closer to where they are. Oh, we got a wild olive. We're going to have to put that in our little chest too. We are going to be so cramped for inventory space. Uh, I can already tell storage is going to be one of those fun things again. <laughs> okay, I think it'll fit in here. Wonderful. And our feather, can it go in here? Haha, uh -huh, it can. And the horns as well. They can stack. And that's always the hard part too, is that the when you always have different quality items, it uh, definitely eats up storage space quite quickly. That's why I'm like, if we can just keep getting better quality fish and it can just all stack, I think that's pretty fantastic. Oh, look at that. They're already working on it here. Oh, I think they might enjoy this. Uh-oh. I'm like, did we just get... S we just got stuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm like, no, please do not freeze. <laughs> Been through enough of that lately with some other games. Perhaps we should venture into the mines a little bit and make our very first contribution to the monkey totem. We can always do that today and then donate the rest later. Not a big deal. Are you selling anything new and exciting? As a kid, I'd spend hours watching the stars. They're just so magical. Oh, stars are beautiful to watch. Oh, calling these shoes great only scratches the surface. <laughs> Oh, I think they mean literally there. I can never decide myself. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there's just so many animals wandering all over the place. And it's kind of neat that they change locations every day. They're not always in the exact same spot. Okay, some mushrooms. Oh, more seeds for next year. Okay, I'm like a little scared I'm going to accidentally eat that. <laughs> Let's not eat the potentially poisonous mushroom. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hello, boars. How are you today? Oh, got some more potatoes over here. Oh my goodness. I just can't get over how cute the baby animals are. <laughs> Alrighty, into the caves we will go. It'll be nice to see if we can find some more gems, like nice and easy. I think we have, like, I think we had quite a bit of flint going, so that was good. 
monkey room. I think that's where we want to go. Okay, we made it. Now, I'm pretty sure the green was this one. The totem accepts the offering. Perfect, so now we just have two more that we need to do. And thankfully, we already know what they are, so it's just a matter of getting everything that we need. Okay, a couple minerals here, so let's grab those. Wonderful. I'm sure we will use all of the flint and obsidian. I don't know how or when, but <laughs> it's. I wouldn't complain if uh, we had more than we needed. Okay, back to the forest we go. Time to see how today's fishing luck is going. Now, let's just check our quest. One day to finish, one day to finish. Okay, so these are both going to be ready to, for tomorrow, which, awesome. Um, what did we need? Oh, right, we still need one feather for that. And, oh, okay, still needs some roots. <laughs> I keep shipping all of our carrots and forgetting to see if those will actually fill the requirement or not. Because <laughs> I'm like, it could also mean something like the burdock root that we pick up in the savannah, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, here's a zippy little fish. Oh, no, we don't want to scare it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, come on, we were supposed to catch it. <laughs> I should actually check and see where our fishing skill is at with some of these fish because I think some of them have to be getting pretty close to a level up here. The one nice thing about always fishing in the same location is that we just skill up with these fish so quickly. I think that was probably one of the mistakes I made the first time I played is that I kind of just fished everywhere and I didn't really realize that there was maybe a bit of a benefit to picking a fishing spot and sticking with it for a while. All right, let's actually take a little peek and see how we are doing with some things here. Discoveries and fish so with the hammer we are at level three and with the lunas we are okay at level two so we probably need to hit level three oh it even tells us what the size was that's pretty cool <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. So I haven't really checked to see if they kind of max out at a certain point. Like maybe it only goes to five. I'm not sure. Oh, patience is definitely a virtue with these fish. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh. oh, it keeps wanting to hide in the rocks on us. Oh, come on, you're so close, but you like circling around that one rock. <laughs> there we go, new record. I keep seeing our community's contribution points and thinking that it's ours, and I'm like, wow, when did we get so many contribution points? We should be broke, we just ordered a new animal shed upgrade. <laughs> oh, too funny. Here we go. Oh, 
we're definitely catching some of the better quality ones, so I'm very excited. I should actually look at our meals and see how much better those ones are than the regular. Okay. What do we have? One, maybe two more fish we can catch. A couple little hammers. I don't even want to know how many of these we've caught. It's a lot. <laughs> we've probably snacked on quite a few as well. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's just they make such a good snack and they're such good contribution points. Oh my goodness, I just scared that one right away. <laughs> I am so sorry, fish. I did not mean to startle you that badly. <laughs> Oh, we haven't caught this one very many times. That could be why it's giving me a bit of grief here. There we go. Hello, fish. Oh, no, we are out of energy. Okay, so, whoops, here. So we get 46 stamina with the better quality. 42 with good quality and 38 with just regular. So it's kind of going up by four. Eh, not bad. We'll take it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The best part is, is that we're going to have lots of energy, <laughs> especially when we need it. We just need to find a meal that is really good for mining. Any added buffs would be fantastic. Okay, we are going to ship our gems here. I don't think we were keeping any of those ones. And we have a couple fish for our smoker here. Okay, and then, oh goodness, what was there? Oh, carrot, potato, we don't have an egg yet. Uh, I kind of want to say that there was another one we were considering. Three of any harvest. Okay, let's get these all cooked. There we go. Look at that. We have so many meals now. 18. We should be good. Oh, <laughs> as I'm trying to cook again. Uh... Was there anything we could quickly cook up? Three of any harvest we could do. Uh, I wonder if it has to be the exact same. We can also do this one too. So why don't we just go grab some supplies here and see what we can whip up. Maybe one of those meals will be better than what we have been making. All right, so it looked like we needed, oh, <laughs> really just one bean, but okay, we get carried away. And yeah, let's do the three tomatoes and then we'll need one of something else. Uh, just one. Okay, I'm excited to see how this goes. What kind of meals will we be crafting here? And then of course, I think in order to... Uh, Okay, so it's actually going to show... Oh, so our carrot didn't count as a vegetable there? Unfulfilled. Oh, I took it out. Um, okay, let's try that again. Sure. Close and cook. Vegetable stew. Okay. <laughs> now, what about this one? Three of any harvest. Let's cook that. A mixed salad. Okay. 38 stamina, 46 stamina. Okay, so... Oh, goodness. I don't think I would cook those very often. Like... This one was one vegetable and one bean, so that one probably wasn't too bad, but this one was three of any harvest, and we can get that for one fish. <laughs> 
Plus we get the fish spawn bonus, so I don't think that one's worth it. <laughs> it looks like just a regular plain cooked dish, so I'm not too impressed with that one. Okay, let's get those put away there. And, uh, oh, we can put our other stuff here. We don't need the obsidian and flint following us around. Let's just move these up here so we remember to eat those fairly quickly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, just not, not as good as I was hoping. I was like, maybe one of them will have a special effect for us. That'll be really good. Well, at least we cooked it and we know what it is now. And we got 455 contribution points, so all in all, good day. Look at that, we're just racking up the contribution points again, which is good because, you know, it probably won't take long and we're going to want to be doing some other kind of expansion. Okay, so I think we should have quite a few things done for us today. We should have a larger animal shed. We've got some ideas that should be finished now. <laughs> Oh, okay. Bad tool to carry. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Here we go. Pretty soon, we're not really going to be needing the little hand axe at all, unless we want a very versatile tool. Water bucket. Look at that. We just we're just flying through this now. <clears throat> Now, once summer hits, we're still going to have tomatoes because they grow across the season, which is nice. Oh, no water. Oh, I shouldn't say we have nothing that we can plant. I'm pretty sure that the sea kale will grow into summer as well. So we could actually be planting more of that too. Oh, uh-oh. There's only three feed slots here. Oh, dun dun dun. <laughs> That's a bit of a dilemma. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got so many new crops here. We're getting regular domesticated potatoes and carrots and domesticated beans as well. Okay, so I was gonna put some more animal fiber in here for our new animals. Oh, I was really hoping we would be able to fit for <laughs> the disappointment. Okay, so that means we need to investigate what it'll take to either build a large animal shed or we just need to build a second small shed. And I mean, either way, it'll be fine. We're going to need a second shed, I'm sure, at some point anyway. Oh, I love that we have stuff already watered for us best feeling ever. <laughs> okay, we'll get all these watered. And that is the person we have been dying to speak to right here. <laughs> Playing bones with Ron is fun, but he's a little too competitive. Okay, what is it going to take? Oh, that is a lot of contribution points and quite a bit of hardwood. Okay, what will it take to build our small shed? 30 wood and 20 stone. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to manage that. We will put you to work. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't even worry for a minute. We will find some trees to chop down here. That'll be our mission of the day after we talk to people about some other quests. I think we also need to work on getting our scythe as well. I don't think we've done that yet. So more wood. <laughs> what is becoming our issue lately? Hello. That was an exciting and sometimes smelly experiment, but it worked. I just needed to put it in the right kind of liquid, and once I removed the top layer, it was delicious. I call it a fermenter. I made you one too. Happy cooking. Thank you very much. Now we can make our smelly fish. <laughs> 
and one more idea over here the press worked better than i thought i also tried it on an almond and made tasty milk out of it you'll have to try it take this one i'll make another okay and uh, while i have carrots in my inventory here let's check on this idea carrots will work we need 10 fiber okay i'm probably going to okay let's ship our better quality carrots <laughs> um yeah their class is a root we're good i was like mm. do they sell differently oh yeah potatoes are what better 24 yes that is the right choice right there uh yeah it's still fine okay we're good there tree i'm sorry you need to be chopped down <laughs> we are in desperate need of the wood wood and i think we should have enough stone let's plop these down here um will this other one fit down here yes okay we need a tomato because it was tomato or strawberry so let's just take a little tomato here and we need to catch ourselves a fish okay tomato into the juicer here we go <laughs> There we go. Oh, we can go visit the pyramid again too. So we're going to have to do that, of course. And then I think we're going to need to catch a fish here. So let's quickly do that. And then we will carry on with our tree chopping so we can hopefully get ourselves another animal shed going. Oh, come on now. Be nice. I'm kind of excited. We should be able to complete the monkey totem before the end of spring. <laughs> I would really love to see that happen. Okay, here is our fish. How long does that take? 16 hours, so almost a full day. Okay, that one's gonna be a little time consuming. So we are back on the case of trees and grabbing ourselves oh that's totally done <laughs> uh, we'll just throw you over there and we needed some of the fiber okay Oka where are you hiding and will we find trees on the way of course we will <laughs> exactly what we want to see I'm pretty sure we have more than enough stone just from all of our mind diving that we've been doing. I have to be careful which trees we chop down. I mean, we're going to need hardwood at some point. Oh, there he is. Let's develop your idea. Bunny has said some nice things about you. Oh, is that so? You've been talking to our little bunny? To ride an animal, we'll have to gain their trust and make them feel comfortable. I'll see what I can do. These supplies should help. Well, thank you. Um, do we have any regular wood left? <laughs> I see a whole bunch of hardwood. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> here we go. There's some up here. Just not regrowing fast enough for us. <laughs> Okay, good. We have quite a bit here. We should be able to order our little animal shed. Oops, there we go. And then we'll just have to go and grab our stone out of our chest. And away we'll go. Okay, any more wood up here that we can grab? Yes. I'm like, we might as well grab it now. It'll give it a chance to regrow. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to pick our lucky animals that get to come home with us. So I guess it's gonna be the first two that we run into. Okay, stone, here we go. 
We are, oh, do we have an area that's cleared off already? Um, kinda, sorta, but maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should just plop it right up here next to the other animal shed if we can. I wonder if we need to clear this away too. Let's just take care of some of it. We don't want to lose any of our animal feed anyway. There we go. Oh, is there a weed over here? Oh, sure there is. <laughs> there we go. Plant fiber seems to be one of those things that we need quite a bit of too, but look how well it grows in once you clear it all out. Is he still over here? Perfect. We would like to build another animal shed. Oh, we have just enough contribution points. Um, yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. All 30. We got it. Build, please. <laughs> oh, look at that. That'll fit very nicely. Yes. I'll get everything ready to start work on this tomorrow. It should be ready in two days. All right. Thank you. Okay, busy day. Let's go head over to the savanna and check on our animals that we're going to bring home. Empty this out first. There we go. We are quickly making progress. Like, like just look at all of our animal friends. I really want to make sure we get ourselves an ostrich. I'd like to see... I'm pretty sure that they must lay eggs, so that might help with that one cooking dish that we have. Who are we going to run into first? Shall we check our map and see who's closer? Uh, <laughs> the bison are like just a little bit closer. Okay, let's go see them. I'm like, this is gonna be a toss up. <laughs> the nice part is, is that the bison will produce some fur for us. So that's good too. Oh, did we pick something up? Uh, yes, let's invite you to move home with us. Yes. And where is our other tamed one? Oh, please don't tell me it disappeared on us. Oh, don't cut down that tree. <gasps> no. Did, did it not show up today? Uh-oh. So we got our male, but not our female. I'm not seeing it anywhere over here. Oh no. We're gonna have to tame ourselves another one. That's disapp- Oh, no. Is this it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you are hiding on us. I was so worried. Yes, please. Perfect. Now we have two bison that have moved in with us. Let's go grab one of our ostriches. <laughs> Da -da. Okay, they should be somewhere over here. We have so much running around to do today. Um, okay, we still need to attune with it. Dun da da. Yeah, that's always like one of my fears with the attuning. It's like, if we're attuning with them, are they going to disappear and swap out or are they gonna hang around? <laughs> uh, yes, please move in with us. And yeah. And you were our other one we were attuning with, so let's go. And I like attuning with different colored animals. If you like a certain set of an animal, by all means, you can get a male and a female. And then every time they breed, you'll get the same one. Yes, please. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, will it do it? No. <laughs> that one will just have to wait. 
Okay, let's head over to the jungle and see what is going there. What else do we have? Oh, pyramid achievement. Okay, they put up a new clothesline, finish the animal shed, and yes, we're gonna go into the jungle. Oh, and we still need to find one more feather. I think this was kind of like the area that we got lucky with last time. No. Oh, another olive though. Oh, I tell you, these feathers are so difficult. Oh, there it is. We found one. <laughs> okay, we can get that idea going too. Oh my goodness, we're just like on track with getting all of these ideas going. I feel like we're just like, we finish some and new ones pop up and we just keep the rotation going. <laughs> All right, back to the house we go. Okay, we needed feathers. And we needed two of the horns. And we needed two of the poop. Okay, was there four things that we needed or was it just the three? Two of any harvest, okay. Uh, let's just grab some of the lower quality things. Oh, we don't need all of that. <laughs> Move that across and yeah, just one. There we go. Now we just gotta track her down. I wonder if she'll be in here. There she is. Whoops, as we stumble on a, on a candle, hopefully don't burn the place down. This land makes it so I can keep my medicine box pretty stocked. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, can we trade with her too? Oh, that's cool. So we can buy stuff that our animals might need. Let me know if you need herbs later. All right, we are ready to discuss this idea. Thank you, I'll start experimenting with these. All right. She's begun the idea of composting. Dun, dun, dun. Off to the jungle we will go. <laughs> oh, I just love how productive we've been. Oh, looks like we need to fill our Ola here or our uh, <laughs> crops are not going to be watered tomorrow. There we go. And it looks like there's a couple trees we might be able to snag on the way back. Look at that. Here's where they all were. <laughs> uh, yeah. We tread into the jungle. Oh my goodness. It is so dark. <laughs> I guess that's what we get for creeping into a jungle this late at night. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Inspect. Oh, here we go. This one is fully complete. So they use the power of the sun to preserve their food. Okay, so that was our solar dryer. They use the smoky power of the fire to preserve their food, so our smoker. They sift the fruits of their labor with ease, so our press. And they ground grains and mixed with ease. Awesome. Oh, we're getting another stone. Look at that. It's hard to admire it. It's so dark. <laughs> Brooch of the Gatherer. Wow. Okay, let's check out what our new item is. Um, look at our person here. Only fully bonded accessories. Well, that one's fully bonded. Impugned with a power that gives you a chance to gather more. Well, we don't have any other ones, so we can bind with it. We're only stuck with it for one day, and then we could um, remove it if we needed to. 
Look at that, two pyramid achievements before the end of spring. I think we are doing very well. And down goes the tree. So our smelly fish will be ready tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. And then we can work on our monkey totem. Assuming that I haven't accidentally shipped our juice. No, we're good. <laughs> we still have the tomato juice. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Let's clean up the inventory a little bit. I think I tripped on a weed. <laughs> uh, yes, let's put our wood away and then it is time for us to head to bed for the night because tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day for us. Wow, that river safety is uh, just about ready. <laughs> okay, so 831 contribution points. So we've already made back what we used up for our small animal shed. So that's great. The Great Connector. There was another rumbling in the jungle. Oh... This area wasn't here before. I've never seen trees like these either. Is that a fire pit? We should check the paintings. The years passed until all they could remember was their disdain for each other. Tired and sad, Pacha shook the earth to show what could be achieved by working together and have the sun and moon be one again. The sun and moon, those drawings are new. There has to be more to the story. Whatever we're doing seems to be working. Interesting. New idea, even more from Milk. Oh. Wants to experiment in the kitchen and needs your help. Okay. <laughs> he really enjoys experimenting in the kitchen. So we just have our one little new area here Ooh, with our fire pit. It's kind of neat that the jungle continues to expand. All right, let's go see if our smelly fish is done. <laughs> oh, look at the little tree growing back. Whoop, as we're tripping on things. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have some carrots that are finished. I just killed the plant. <laughs> I don't know if I've... Oh, maybe I have done that in this game before. Like, I have to think about that. <laughs> Took it down with an axe. My bad. <laughs> that poor little carrot. There we go. Stinky fish. <laughs> Fermented porcupine. <laughs> okay, looks like I, our bison here could use a little shearing. Try not to get it too wet as we water the rest of our crops. <laughs> oh, the problems we have when the animals get out early. Now, I could make a fence, but I don't know. We seem to be needing a lot of wood lately, so I'm a little hesitant to start using it for other things. I'm sure the animals don't mind. <laughs> Okay, how are the bison doing? Okay, I think we can probably shear you, no problem. There you go. And what about you? There. I think they're pretty happy now. 
and we're gonna be like out of space for everything pretty soon. <laughs> okay, um, I'm kind of wondering if we should keep more tomatoes or not. Let's just, let's just do it. We don't know if we'll need it or not. And then we have, oh, do you need to be shared as well, Boar? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, off to the contribution bin we go. We will have to worry about our other little ostrich friend <laughs> tomorrow when our animal shed is more than likely finished. Okay, is he in the kitchen already this morning? Yes. Since we made the fermenter, I've been thinking nonstop about what other flavors are still undiscovered. When I was fermenting milk, I got these great little curds, but with all the water, they spoil so fast. If we could get the water out, it would keep for longer. I have a feeling it would taste pretty good too. I just need to find a way to strain them, somehow. So what, oh my goodness, five fur, okay. The clan needs more prosperity, so that's okay. We can talk about this later. I was like, oh my. <laughs> Good thing we just got two more fur-producing animals because whew, it is in demand. All right, shall we head up to the mines and work on the monkey totem quest? Good thing we have a lot of energy with us today. Dun, dun, dun. Pick up some extra free seeds along the way. So we've had some, oh, pomegranate knowledge has increased to two. I love making clothes for the clan, but also gathering things. It's fun to mix it up. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do the same thing every day. We got new achievements, so I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I can never decide myself. I'm not quite sure what triggers her to have new stuff in stock. I'm like, we had a pyramid expansion. Maybe that would uh, get us some new stuff going. Oh, more stuff in the trees here. So I wonder if we... No, pomegranate's a fruit. I'm like, I don't know if we did a whole bunch of the pine cones, if we would increase knowledge there too. I'm intrigued. Oh, hello, little boar. <laughs> okay, potatoes, here we go. Any other last minute crops? Yes. Okay, our inventory is already like half full. <laughs> good thing we got that expansion and uh, good thing we have lots of things we can just very easily snack on to give us extra space. And of course, once we do our contributions to the monkey totem, we'll have a little extra space as well. All right, to the monkey room, please. We are ready. We have the juice here. The totem accepts the offering. And now for the stinky fish. <laughs> the totem accepts the offering. Are you ready to start the challenge? Yes, let's get started. Join me by showing what rhythm moves you. Use my power to leap across platforms. And raise and lower the marked pass by playing the instrument with the matching symbol. When one platform raises, another one lowers. Good luck, my friend. Okay, so is that a raised or lowered platform right now? Okay, it was lowered. Oh, look at that, we're a cute little monkey. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, looks like we're gonna need this one next. And we'll hop across here. Can we go this way? Uh, what is with the monkey here? Okay, we can't go down, but we, or can't go up, but we can go down. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. And we can play this one to raise it. I think it's so cute watching us hop from platform to platform. <laughs> oh my goodness, three paths to choose from. Can't see far enough in the one direction. Let's go explore. <laughs> goodness what a jagged path okay we can't go that way so I guess that means we need to play our next instrument here okay <laughs> Is this going to take us right back from where we were? Because I think it's going to. But maybe that'll open up a new area for us to explore. Was there another path up here? There was. Okay, we can get across now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is quite the maze of paths they have going on here. Okay, we definitely can't go that way. So we're going to have to go this way. Okay. Now which way do we go? Can't go that way. What about this way? Nope. Okay, if we go down, what is that going to do? Can't go that way. And we can't go that way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did we overlook something? Okay, the triangle is not activated. That one is not activated. This seems to be a bit of a dead end here. their way across over here. Ah, here we go. The maze of paths. <laughs> and this one, please. Okay, here we go. New path. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are quite the puzzles, I must say. Okay, that one needed a triangle. We don't have that, so we're gonna have to go this way. Oh, is that way a triangle too? It was, okay, so we'll have to go down here. Uh, 
Okay, now, do we need to go... Oops. <laughs> hmm. And I'm like, I don't want to go back in circles here, because I'm like, if we go back in this direction, that'll just take us back there. So do we need to go back here? Like, I feel like this might be moving us further away from... Oh, no, we're good. That's a new area. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of transforming. Our character must be so dizzy. <laughs> okay, here we go. This must be near the end here. I think we've nearly been down every path we can be down. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Here we come. Just bouncing away. <laughs> okay, here we come. I think we're back on the final stretch. Oh! <laughs> As our monkey jumps off. <laughs> okay, last one. Here we go. Did we make it? Oh, we did it. That is success right there. Oh, look at that. We're dancing. We're so happy. <laughs> Take great leaps and dance to your own rhythm, little star. You may use my powers from now on. Oh, that is pretty exciting. Okay, why don't we quickly grab the minerals that we saw down here. Okay, and now we can carry on forward. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, there we go. Um... Was that all that was over here? I like to cook stuff that matches my color. Oh, okay. We got a free little dish there. That's kind of neat. I think we're going to have to backtrack a little bit and find out where we needed to use our monkey powers. Might as well grab some minerals while we're at it. Uh, I think we had to go left here. <laughs> it's been a while since we've wandered through here. Dun dun dun. Oh, that's a doorway, isn't it? Okay. And I think it was this way we need to go. I'm thinking, well, actually, I know I've gotten lost in here before. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little difficult. And of course, we could consult our map, which I probably should have done. <laughs> are we headed in the right direction? Yes. Yes, we are. Whoops. More stones. Okay, good. We still have a pretty decent part of the day left, so that's good. We're going to need it. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious. That dish. Oh, 76 stamina and one ore yield. Okay, that's a really good treat. So when we find a bunch of ore that we want, we will have to chow down on that. Okay, we need to get all the way up here. Or was it to the left? Yeah, up and to the left. I feel like we're going in circles. <laughs> oh, there's our door. 
here we go. And of course we were able just to warp right here. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. We didn't have to backtrack at all, really. I wonder how long the ore yield would last when we eat that. I think we'll do that in a on a day that we're going to be spending pretty well most of the day in here from start to finish. Maybe on like a rainy day. We could chow down on that and see how long it'll last. Uh-oh, we're about to enter the dark area. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to get through. More stamina. Oh, we better... Yes, let's eat one of these other meals that uh, wasn't super beneficial for us. Oh, walking through the water here. Oh, what's this? Can't get there. Were we able to go up and over at all? Oh, yeah, we can sneak right through here. Is this another dead end? It's so hard to tell in the dark. Ugh, can we light the torch? Oh my goodness, this is like a maze. Maze in the dark. Can we get down there? <laughs> I'm like, can we light the torch? That would be kind of cool. Is there another entrance into this room, maybe? What does it look like? Uh, no. Somehow we'll have to find our way through that maze. <laughs> I'm sure it's like another puzzle. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's through this door. Big purple mushrooms. <laughs> and we can use our monkey power. Ta-da! Looks like we're gonna have to eat again. <laughs> and we might as well do this one too. There we go. We're going to burn through that stamina so quickly. Meddling with ore. Oh, we found some copper now. Well, that's exciting. I wonder if that means we'll be able to get even more tools. I think we'll keep grabbing the copper as we find it. I don't know how much of it we're going to need here right away. <laughs> Maybe we're going to be hitting that we've found too much stuff again. <laughs> What's down this way? Whoop, getting stuck on everything. Oh, another little monkey path down here. It's starting to get late. I wonder if we're going to be passing out down here. Oh my goodness. I don't like it when they give us give us these tough decisions. Okay, it looks like this door should be able to open. So let's see if it'll open for us. A lot of obsidian over here, my goodness. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness. It's like, yeah, did you see how many rocks are over here? You're going to need a lot. <laughs> These doors are getting really stubborn. There we go. Oh, where did we end up now? Oh my goodness, we can't even see where we're jumping. Um, okay, we are still good. <laughs> I'm like, um, I don't know, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> 
It is getting late. Okay. Noted. We need to try to find our way back now. I can only imagine how creative our map is getting. <laughs> okay, can we hop across here? I feel like we're almost headed backwards. Okay. Yes, we've already been in this room. Oh, and it looks like we're very close to the beach. No, that's not the right way. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's like 1 a.m. Even if we did manage to get to the beach, we would be passing out. We wouldn't have time to run home. Okay, well, that's good. We found a little shortcut over here. Pass out in monkey form. <laughs> can barely get through the doorway there. Okay, let's see what is over this way, potentially, if we don't pass out. There we go. <laughs> I think there's like a missing platform over there, so we kind of have to hop around it. Oh, just in time to pass out. Okay, there's a way forward over there. <laughs> all right more clan prosperity and a little bit of contribution for us all right everyone i think we have achieved a lot so that's going to be the end of today's episode thank you all so much for watching and i will see you next time